Earlier, we reported investigators believe the bombs used in the Belgium attacks were made using a white powder called TATP. It is made from ingredients sold legally at drugstores. This was the scene after two bombs exploded at Brussels airport. Investigators are increasingly confident the devices included the compound TATP. Hydrogen peroxide and acetone are part of the highly unstable material that makes it difficult to trace. Chris Van Cleve is at New York's Penn Station. He looks at new technology that could spot a bomber before they strike. Chris, good morning. Well, good morning. The concern with law enforcement is that TATP could be used in a space like this here at New York's Penn Station. Terrorists have dubbed it the mother of Satan because it packs nearly the punch of TNT. This new technology aims to instantly detect somebody who's come in contact with the explosive. Fire in the hole! The bomb that ripped through this car door is an explosive that's a favorite of terrorists. From Brussels to Paris, to the 2005 attacks in London, even the underwear bomber. All use the homemade and extremely volatile triacetone triperoxide, or TATP. The, the was Researchers at the University of Rhode Island showed us just one-tenth of a pound of TATP Two, one. easily sent shrapnel flying across a 120-foot debris field. Covered a lot of distance. It surely did. You don't need pounds to cause a catastrophic failure, especially in something delicate like a transportation mode. We're talking about airplanes a few minutes ago, but we could be talking about trains or buses. Belgian police this week seized 33 pounds of TATP at this terrorist stash house. You're getting something that's homemade and you're getting close to something that's commercially manufactured. Special Agent Kirk Dennis is a certified explosive specialist with the ATF's Washington field office. This stuff can't be tracked and traced because they're buying, you know, commercially available products that are not illegal to own and then they're making it into something it's not intended to be. He's just checking, ma'am. He'll leave once he satisfies his curiosity. For years, bomb dogs have been the best way to instantly detect trace amounts of TATP, but dogs have limitations. This is the digital dog. So the Department of Homeland Security has invested nearly a million dollars in new technology here at Professor Otto Gregory's Rhode Island lab. We call it an electronic sniffer. So it's an electronic trace detection system that doesn't need a break. It operates in the background like a smoke detector, scanning the air as people pass by, alerting police if it gets a hit. Gregory showed us how it can instantly detect even trace amounts of TATP. So you see value at ports, at airports? Train stations, subway stations. Do you feel a renewed sense of urgency to get it out there? We would like to get it out there yesterday. The device will enter real-world testing later this year. We understand right now it's about the size of a backpack or a small suitcase. The goal is to get it down to the size of a smartphone. Gail? All right. Wow. wow. That's wow. scary. Chris Wayne Cleve, thank you very much.